Hi there, this is Joe from Signage Live and in this video we're actually going to do something a little bit different today. So today I wanted to talk to you about how we can split a single video into multiple individual videos. Now why would we want to do this? With the release of our new feature screen takeovers, we give you the ability to sync content across multiple screens. You can also do this with sync groups, but with sync groups, the content is constantly in sync. Whereas with a screen takeover, you can set an interval at which that content falls into sync and then have the players fall back to their own respective schedules. So regardless of what feature you're using, you might want to span a single piece of content across multiple screens, or at least give the impression that you were doing so. However, due to the way that these signage live players sync, you will need to have individual videos on each of your players. So if you have one piece of content, like this video I'm seeing on screen here, I'm just gonna hit play now. So you can see this is one very long video here, right? And I want to span this across multiple screens. I can't just publish this one video by itself because it will be the same video on every screen. But I want to give the impression that this video is spanning across multiple screens. A bit like how you see in this example video here. So you can see the content is spanning across two separate screens like so. In order to split our content up to display it like that, we're going to need a couple of things. Firstly, you're going to need a video editing software of your choice. In my case, I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve today. Secondly, we will need to know the resolution of each of our individual screens. And once we have that, we're ready to begin. So here I am in DaVinci Resolve now, and of course what I'm about to do, the process will vary depending on what video editing software you are using, but the concept is similar. So in my case, I have a single video that has a resolution of 3840 by 1080. And what that's gonna allow me to do is equally split this in half to create two 1920 by 1080 videos. That happens to be the resolution of each of the screens here. So you can see screen one here on the left is 1920 by 1080. Screen two here on the right is also 1920 by 1080. You put them together, you get 3840 by 1080. So what we need to do is create a divide exactly down the middle of our source content. So again, depending on what video editing software you're using, when you import your original source video, your project might automatically scale to the resolution of that video. So in my case, if I go up to File and then Project Settings, you can see that my resolution here is set to 3840 by 1080, but we need this to be 1920 by 1080 because we are going to split this into two individual videos. So I'm gonna change my resolution to 1920 by 1080. So now that my resolution is set in my project to 1920 by 1080, I need to make sure that my video is scaled to fit the canvas. So essentially what we need to do, we need to get our video to fill the canvas and then we're gonna use the edge of the canvas to crop out the pixels that we don't need. So we've of course got 1920 pixels that we don't actually need in one of our videos. So again, depending on the video editing software you're using, this process will differ. But in my case, I actually have the ability to set my scaling to fill here and that will allow me to scale the video to the size of the canvas. However, as you can see here, this is now smack bang in the middle of the video, which we don't want. We essentially wanna take the left portion of this video, export it, and then take the right portion and export that individually. So now I'm gonna scroll up to the transform controls. And again, where these are will depend on your video editor that you are using, but we wanna shift our source video either left or right based on where on the canvas we want it to be. So in my case, we're gonna start with the left video. So this video is gonna to need to be shifted over to the right. So I'm gonna grab my position tool here, and I know that this is gonna be about 480. And again, the unit of measurement will depend on what video editing software you are using. I know that 480 in my case brings my video to the edge of the canvas. Of course, you just wanna make sure that as you can see here, this edge is lining up with the edge that you see there. And in my case, that is 480, like so. So now I have this video at the edge of my canvas, I can now export my video. So I'm gonna go over to the render area. I've already got a name for my video and I've already chosen a location for my video. Here, I just need to set my video preferences. Of course, just be wary of what player type you are using. Just make sure you are using a format that is supported by that player. We do have documentation that will tell you what are the supported formats for that player. Once I'm happy with this, I can add this to the render queue. And this is my second render, so I'm just going to hit replace in this case. And now I'm going to do render all. And that will now render my first video, my left video. But we need to do the right video still. So I'm going to jump back into my edit window. I'm now going to go over to the position area. And I'm going to do this 480 in the opposite direction. Of course, in your case, it would be whatever unit of measurement that your video editing software is using. Just do it in the opposite direction to what you first did. So now this will be our right video. So I'm going to go back to the render area. I'm going to change this to right video. I'm going to clear my render queue because I don't want to render that again. And now I'm going to add this to the render queue, replace, 
render. And now that has rendered my right side of the video. And if I go into my files now, you can see what I've got here. So this was the summed video, like so. It's obviously a very large resolution. We have our left video, which you can see is the left side of that same video. And we have the right side of that same video. So now we've got these individual videos, we can publish these and have them perform in sync across our players and create the impression that we are spanning a single piece of content across multiple screens. Of course, make sure that you've got your players positioned physically in the right places because you don't want your left content going on your right screen and your right content going on your left screen and vice versa. Nevertheless, I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, please feel free to get in touch and we'd be more than happy to help. We'll see you on the next one.